covering all of Southern California. This is CBS2 News Central at 11. Well, groundbreaking cancer research is being done right here in Los Angeles, and it is saving lives. Well, tonight, CBS2's Susie Saw introduces us to one woman who's getting a second chance at life, thanks in part to people like you donating to cancer research. Love sailed into Sue Service's life. She was swept off her feet, married. Then, four months later, her once active life very busy came to a staggering you know, your heart stops. Stand still. My husband, I didn't expect that uh, for uh, sickness and health part to come so quickly. Service was always good about getting her mammograms. She exercised regularly. Biking, hiking. Ate all the right foods. I, I was super, super healthy. After losing a friend to breast cancer, she decided to do a self-exam. There it was, this alum. It was HER2 positive, one of the most aggressive forms of breast cancer, what many once referred to as a death sentence. Very uh, nerve-wracking period. But researchers at UCLA's Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center injected hope into service. She was eligible for a clinical trial of Herceptin, a treatment that specifically targets HER2 positive cancer cells. Dr. Dennis Slayman, who helped develop Herceptin, has been known to turn the worst prognoses into the best. It's a completely different ballgame than it was even five years ago. Service has endured chemotherapy, surgery, and will complete her clinical trial at the end of the year, but already a positive prognosis. I'm you know, back to sailing and um, working out. The tumor, gone. Dr. Slayman's research was funded in large part by the Stand Up to Cancer Benefit, Service is a statistician by trade. She hopes her story and other advancements in medicine will help increase survivor statistics. Remember your self-exams, ladies? Don't forget that. Don't rely on, on mammograms. You can do it. You can stand up to it and, and fight, fight back. In Westwood, Susie Saw, CBS2 News.